Hey guys, Aiden here. Today I'm going to uh, be re-gel coating my seam strip on my kayak here. And I thought I'd show you guys how I'm going to do it. So my first step is going to be taping out my seam here. Um, you want to get yourself the good quality painter's tape, the wide stuff. Don't go cheap on this. Um, you really want something that's going to have that really fine edge. So now that my tape's on there, I really want to make sure that that edge right along the seam is really sealed. So I take my fingernail and I just run it along there all the way. So you can see how over time this seam strip gets really scuffed up. Um, it lightens in color just due to UV damage. Basically when your boat is manufactured, it's manufactured in two pieces. It's the deck and the hole separately, and then they fuse them together. Um, at the seam, and so your seam strip is just there to cover up that that um, that seam. So I want to prepare that surface for gel coat. Um, we clean here with acetone. Um, this is just an acetone soaked rag, and I'm just going to take that and brush off my surface here. So I got my gel coat here. I want to make sure it's really um, shaken up well. Uh, Stuff can really make a mess, so um, have rags at the ready. Pour my gel coat into a mixing cup. I'm going to use approximately one ounce here. I'm going to add my um, catalyst now. I'm going to use some fiber in this repair. Um, fiber gives your gel coat a little bit more um, strength and it also changes the texture of it. Um, so I'm gonna add about a spoonful here. And then I really wanna spend the time to mix this up thoroughly. Wanna make sure all that powder integrates into the gel coat. I've got my gel coat, I've got my personal protective equipment, and a foam brush applicator, and I'm going to start painting it on. Painting it on with light brush strokes, back and forth motions. I want to make sure I hide those brush strokes as best I can, so I don't have any weird lines in there. So once your gel coat's been setting up for, I don't know, 15 minutes, it's probably um, about time you can peel that tape off. You don't want to put this off um, too long because otherwise your uh, gel coat will actually stick to the tape and it'll come off with the tape. So now that the tape is peeled, um, you're going to want to give this some time to set up. Uh, one, two full days. Uh, our best gel coat takes a while and you also want those days to be warm if it's colder out it's going to take longer um, also keep in mind that perfecting gel coat takes a lot of time it takes experience um, there's a lot of experimentation that has to go into it before you really can nail it um, so if you do give it a try uh, you know be patient and don't expect perfect results while wow, you guys do great work here at trek and trail hey guys thanks for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you do have a busted up kayak at home that needs some gel coat repair, be sure to bring it into our full shop. We're able to, to fix it up and make it look brand new for you. So um, uh, check us out. We're in downtown Bayfield, Wisconsin, and um, we'd be happy to help you out.